utter nonsense. No, Shakari Richardson is not the fastest woman alive. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. Drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, at the World Championships which was held in Budapest this year in 2023 in the finals of the women's 100 meters. It was the youngster, Shakari Richardson of the United States, who came out on top in the women's 100 meter finals, running a personal best of 10.65, equaling the world lead for the 2023 season of 10.65. She did a remarkable job in this race. Since her win, I have seen a few articles have fielded a few questions from members of the peter lloyd world um crew meaning you know, the royals who come here as to whether or as to uh statements being made that uh, shakari riches of the united states is the fastest woman in the world no 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 not even close no let me tell you before we get into the nose. Here's what Shakira Richardson is. Shakira Richardson is one of the top 10 fastest women alive. Shakira Richardson is the fastest woman in out of the United States that I know of. Um, well, for the 2023 season, not even alive. And Shakira Richardson is the, currently the world champion. And I'm very, very, very happy for her. As stated in the 100 meter final, Shakari Richardson won in a time of 10.65 ahead of Sharika Jackson, who ran 10.72, and to come second, and Shelly and Freda Price, who ran a season's best of 10.77. But you should know that that world leading time of 10.65 is shared with this young lady, Sharika Jackson, who also ran 10.65 for the 2023 season. Off it goes. Very, very good start by Sharika Jackson. Natasha Morris is on the premises. Tom Sahira is knocking on the door as well. Step forward, Sharika Jackson, imperiously. And two years ago, Shelly and Fraser Price ran her personal best, an astounding 10.60. Good start there from Talu, third from right, but look at Fraser Price building a lead here, but here comes Thompson Hero in the green headband. Is she going to get there? Not on this occasion, she's not, no. The and in 2021 at the Prefontaine Pre Classic that Shakira Richardson was also in, this young lady, Elaine Thompson Hera, ran the fastest time, second fastest time all time, making her the fastest living woman over the 100 meters that time is 10.54 the only person who has ran faster than her is the great florence griffith joiner as you can see here 10.10.49 then elaine tom's era 10.54 in at number three shelly and fraser price 10.60 carmelita jetta is in at number four with 10.64 then in at number five two persons hold that position first Sharika Jackson with 10.65 and the second Shakari Richards of the United States with also 10.65. Marie Josita Lou is in at number eight with 10.72. So these ladies, yeah, um, Flo Jo, then Elaine Thompson Hera second fastest, then Shelly and Fraser Price third fastest, then Carmelita Jetta fourth fastest. Marion Jones, also fourth fastest. Then fifth fastest, Sharika Jackson. Fifth fastest, also Shakari Richardson. That's the order that World Championship had them in. And Marie Josie Talou is the eighth fastest. So, absolutely unequivocally, please, my beautiful people, stop the nonsense. The young lady is not the fastest woman in the world. She's the world champion. That does not make her the fastest woman in the world. 10.65 is an incredible time that is, should be admired. Heck of a time. But as I said, um, Sharika Jackson ran the same exact time at the Jamaica National Championships. 
uh, and there are four women ahead of her, including two Americans. No, three Americans. Marion Jones, Carmelita Jetta, um, of course, Flo Jo, Shelly and Fraser Price, Elaine Thompson, Hera. So she's, she's in no way the fastest woman alive. I just had to come out and talk about this because I was a little confused as to where this was coming from. Now, I'm going to assume that this might have been a misquotation or misunderstanding and um, fans of this remarkable talent, uh, Shakari Richardson, ran with it. But I think the quotation would probably be, she's the fastest woman out of the United States so, so far this year. Because Carmelita Jetta, as far as I'm aware of, is still alive. And her, her time is 10.64. And Marion Jones, I believe, is also 10.64. Correct me if I'm wrong. And she's still alive. So Shakari Richards is not even the fastest U.S. female sprinter. Okay? She's in nowhere near that. Now, she may one day get there. She certainly has the, the, the cool day. She certainly has the, the, the necessary um, talent, speed in her legs, and youth. So it's not impossible. But at this point in our history, Shakira Richardson is tied for the fifth fastest in the world alongside Jamaica's Sharika Jackson with that time of 10.65. I was utterly confused as to where this madness was coming from. And don't take it wrong, I have nothing against Shakari Richardson. As I said, I am a fan, big fan. I think she's an amazing talent. But one of the things we try to do here is we try to deal with facts and not fiction. 10.65 is nowhere close to 10.60 is nowhere close to 10.54 and is nowhere close to 10.49 so there are several persons who are way ahead of this young lady in terms of the share time she is in no way shape and our form at this point in our history and in this universe where we live in the fastest woman alive not even slightly She's the world champion. She's in the top five fastest all time, which is incredible for someone her age. And people 10.65 is a heck of a time. But even this year, just for the 2023 season, she's not the fastest woman. She's, she's tying the fastest woman with Sharika Jackson. They both ran 10.65. So I just wanted to come on and, and correct all of you who are saying she's the fastest woman alive. How can she be? She can't be. Elaine Thompson Hera is alive. They're racing each other today. Shelly and Fraser Price is alive. Carmelita Jetta is alive. Marion Jones is alive. They're all faster. And Sharika Jackson is alive. And they're just as she's equally fast in terms of personal best. And I'm talking about personal best, meaning that her personal record, the fastest time that these women have ran over the 100 meters in history. Can this young lady eventually run faster? Yes, I think so. But at this point in our history, please stop saying she's the fastest woman alive because in no way, shape, or form is she. But this, of course, is my two cents. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit no share, and hit the like button. Remember, your royals, kings, and queens, bless up. Oh, one quick uh, correction. Um, Marion Jones' time is actually 10.65.